Here's how to design a before and after image for your business that look like this. Let's design one together. Go to Canva, create a free account, and go create design. Type 1920 by 1080. Then you should get a blank document like this. Now go to file, and then you're going to check show rulers and guides. Now you should see something like this on top. Now go to the left hand side, pull the guide till it hits about 960. The line will turn pink. Okay, now you're going to go to elements and then you're going to find grids and then you're going to click on this square and then go to the corner and then drag it till it locks into that line we created earlier like that. Now click on this plus to duplicate it and then you're going to move it to the right hand corner like that. Make sure it fits properly. Now go back to file and turn off the rulers. You don't need it anymore. Now that you have your frame, you can upload your images to this design. So I'm going to bring in my images just to show you how this looks like. So it's just a simple drag and drop. Make sure your images are 1080 by 1080 to get that perfect square. Now go back to elements and type in gradient. Select whatever gradient that fits your brain design and then you're going to adjust it to fit the first box. You can design this any way you like. I'm going to put this on the top and I'm just going to adjust it to fit in my text. And so now duplicate it and move it to the other side. Now click on T for text and then add a headline and say whatever you want to say here. For this example, I'm just going to type in before and then I'm going to center it and make the color white. And then I'm going to uppercase the letters and then make it a little bit bigger and then center it. If you want the text to pop, you can click on this effects right here and then click on whatever effect you like. I'm going to click the lift and then increase the intensity all the way to 100. And now just duplicate the text and then type in after. That's what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when it's at the bottom. So if you're wondering how I got this first before effect, click on that element and go to transparency and then you can scale the transparency down to get that cool effect like that. And that's how you create a simple before and after for your business. Once you're happy with your design, go to share and then click download and there you have it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to follow for more.